Yeah, I did it again. I went and bought another smoker. This one is a Vortex smoker from Hunsaker Smokers. Let's take a look at it. So this is the 55 gallon Vortex smoker from Hunsaker Smokers. I've already got it going to do the initial burn in. It's holding really steady right now at about 300 degrees with a good clean burn going. So let's look at some of the features. First of all, one of the things that sold me on this, there are two things actually, the two main features of this, but the first one is what's called the floating lid hinge or the floating hinge lid. Let me show you that. You don't have to completely take the lid off to have access to this. It flips back on what they call a floating hinge, I guess. And if you don't want it to fall back down while you're working in here, you just flip down that little safety catch. So it's really easy to open and close this lid to get access to the cooking chamber. So that was the first feature that really sold me on this. The other was the adjustable rack system inside. There are five spaces in there. You can adjust racks up or down, add racks, have a rib hanging rack. Now I purchased an extra regular cooking grate, very sturdy, good quality, nice and solid. And so you can run literally five racks in there if you really wanna fill this up with food laying flat. Or you can use that hanging rack to hang ribs, hang chicken. Now the venting system on this is very simple. And I like that. You have a lower intake vent that you can just control by, you know, putting your foot against it, moving it back and forth. You put it to the start position when you light it. And once you get to your temperature, you set it to run. Now I'm sure you have to play a little bit more and I'm gonna get used to this as my first burn on this. And I'll generally wanna run this lower, probably about 275. So I'll have to learn that bottom and the top vent. And the top vent is just a nice swivel vent. This is really good construction up here. You can run temperature probe wires down through the vent stack. And as you tip this up, they're gonna stay in place. A lot of people do that. I'm generally not a fan of doing something like that. So I went ahead and installed a silicone probe port. I've done that on several of my cookers. I used a carbide hole saw, drilled out a quarter inch hole, put in the silicone grommet, and I found that works great for getting your probe wires in there and having easy access. So I mentioned the two main features that sold me on this smoker. Another really nice one was its mobility. It has built-in wheels, two large wheels on what I guess would be the backside, and a locking swivel caster on the front. It's not light, but it does move very easily. And with that front locking caster, it stays in place. It's not going anywhere. A nice stay cool handle here at the front, but pretty much every smoker is gonna have that. Now, Hunsaker smokers are known for what's called the Vortex basket system. This is a charcoal basket with a diffuser plate that sits on top, and that diffuser plate has blades like a propeller. And as the heat rises past those blades, it's supposed to spin and help create a more even cook. So what you do is you fill the basket up with charcoal, you put the diffuser plate back on, some starter cubes or tumbleweeds underneath, light it, get it going. Then you set it inside the smoker at the bottom. It has little feet that keeps it above the vent so airflow keeps going. There's also a removable heat diffuser ring which protects the side of the drum from any intense heat from that charcoal basket. And hopefully that'll help protect the paint on the outside of the drum. And for size comparison wise, this is a 55 gallon. And I think my pit barrel cooker, I think those are considered around 30 gallon. If you measure this directly across the top, it's about 22 and a half inches, which is, you know, the size of a Weber kettle 22 inch. So this has plenty of surface area if you want to cook a brisket or a bunch of racks of ribs, especially if you have multiple racks in here. And that was one of the reasons I really wanted to get a larger drum smoker. And for this initial burn in, I sprayed it down with canola oil inside, the cooking grates, everything, all the exposed metal in there. And I'm gonna let it go for at least three hours, running right around 300 degrees. I didn't fill the Vortex basket up as full as I could have because I'm not planning to run it for eight or 10 hours for this. But from what I've seen other people, their experience, they are getting you know eight to 10 hours, some even more using the Vortex basket in here. So if you follow me on Instagram, you might've seen some pictures I posted of the first attempt to deliver this smoker. There were big orange stickers all over the box and the pallet that this came on that said, do not stack. Well, somewhere along the way, someone stacked something on it and damaged it. So Mark Hunsaker at Hunsaker Smoker was really nice, turned around a new smoker pretty quickly, and it's just a beauty. And I just wanna be clear here, I bought this. I didn't get this for free or anything for free. These are available in a variety of colors. There's even a stainless steel model. I chose the flat black just because it looks better on camera. 
there aren't a lot of reflections off of it. The base price of this model, I believe, is $799. I bought an extra cooking rack, and with shipping and everything, it came out to, I believe, it was about $940 that I paid for this delivered. And from everything I've seen on this smoker so far, I made a really good decision in getting it. And what's the first thing I'm actually gonna cook on it? You'll have to wait and see. That's coming soon. So this is my new drum smoker. Really excited to be using it and using it in videos. If you have any questions about it, drop them in the comments below. I'll try and answer them. But this is gonna be a fun one, I can already tell. <laughs>